In the Netherlands, at just 12 years old, you take an all-important test that will dictate the rest of your life. A true test of intelligence. Can you draw a house with a cross? Without lifting your pen from the paper? In Dutch we call this Een huisje met een kruisje. According to legend, some geniuses have successfully completed the test, and therefore we know that there is true human intelligence. But what about artificial intelligence? To test whether an AI is truly intelligent, we have the Turing test. In it, a human, someone who has passed the Ein Huisje met een Kruisje test, and is therefore certified intelligent, interrogates either another human or an AI by chatting with them. If the interrogator can't tell which is which, the AI passes the test. In the past, AIs have managed to pass the test by bending the rules a bit, like pretending to be a confused nine-year-old. Please have a seat right there. This is of course a bit of a cheat, but nowadays we know that AI would easily pass this test without bending the rules. Just take a look at Kid Boga's AI keeping scammers on the phone for hours. <laughs> no. Can you spell it? <laughs> no. Say D E E Z D D Z nuts. She did it! She -E -E said these nuts! Though, it's debatable whether scammers possess any intelligence themselves. In 1969, the Americans asked FIFA, in the hope of more goals, to move the goalposts further apart. With AI, we also move the goalposts. We set up tests for intelligence, and once AI passes them, it doesn't count. If the technology exists, we call it machine learning, and if it doesn't exist yet, we call it AI. And if you're in marketing, you call everything AI. So instead of constantly moving the goalposts, pretending we figured out what intelligence really is, let's set milestones instead. Small personal markers of progress, challenges that if an AI pulled them off, you'd genuinely be impressed, not final definitions, but points we can come back to, compare against and see how far we've come. Milestones let us see the shape that intelligence is starting to take. Step by step. Kind of like drawing a huisje met een kruisje. Let's ask ChatGPT to draw one and see if it's as smart as a 12 year old. It didn't do that well. But hey, ChatGPT never went to school. So maybe we shouldn't expect too much. Still, let's be honest, even if it succeeded, just regurgitating something that could be scraped off the internet isn't exactly a flex. Is copying really intelligence? So let's make the rules a little bit stricter. I'm going to define some desirable properties for a milestone. Something that if AI could do it, would actually feel like a real step toward intelligence. It should be doable. It shouldn't already exist on the internet. It should test multiple modes of intelligence like spatial awareness, vision, temporal coherence, math and logic. And we should be able to compare its performance to a human's. So here's a challenge for AI I came up with. Write a remarcher in C in a single frill that renders a sequence of 400 frames as 512 by 512 ppm images. 1. Construct an Eulerian path that draws a house with a cross, a huisje met een kruisje. To ensure the path is closed, the final segment may connect the last vertex back to the first. 2. Linearly subsample this path to obtain evenly spaced points along the trajectory. 3. Use the discrete Fourier transform to compute the AP sequels corresponding to this path logic. 4. Each AP sequel should be represented as a sphere in a remarcher, with ETS radius determined by the magnitude of ETS frequency component. 5. Only the tip of the final AP sequel should leave a red trail that traces the original shape over time. 6. The sphere should be sorted in order of radius, with the tip being the smallest sphere. 7. Assign a unique color to each sphere. Each sphere should have a different color in each frame. 8. The code should have a comment explaining how to compile and run the program. The test isn't perfect. Sure, each individual piece probably exists somewhere on the internet. But I'd genuinely be impressed if an AI could put the full puzzle together. And if it ever does, we'll just invent a harder test. I challenge myself to write the code as well, so I can compare myself with ChatGPT. Now let's have ChatGPT try it.
Sadly it failed, but this test would be a nice milestone for the future. There's a problem, even if it had succeeded, comparing results wouldn't be straightforward. So instead let's turn it into a game of code golf. The goal in code golf is to use as few characters as possible. To measure similarity, we calculate the absolute pixel-wise difference between each frame and the reference. We normalize the number of pixels to get a value between 0 and 1 for each frame. Then we average that over all frames, and we call this number x. The final score then becomes the number of bytes times 1 plus x. To be able to compare myself with ChatGPT again, I need to do some code golfing myself. Eventually I golfed the code down to double lead bytes. However, I did incur a small penalty because I didn't exactly match each frame. Let's see how ChatGPT performs in this challenge. It sadly failed again. Artificial intelligence isn't there yet. But one day, it will probably pass this milestone. And when it does, I've got a few more waiting. Artificial intelligence is on a path of milestones without a fixed goal in sight. Like Heisje met een kruisje, each milestone is a point we reach, a challenge we overcome and a shape we start to recognize. The path doesn't have a fixed goal, but it does have structure. We can trace where we've been, we can see what's next, and once we complete the shape, we don't stop. We draw a new path, set new milestones and go where nobody has gone before. Thank you.